What's up, family members? My name is Dr. Nkeng Stevens, aka Mr. We Take Another Shot. And yes, I'm back again. I'm here to give you guys something very special, as usual. And permit me, I mean, you guys know why I can't produce, you know, tutorials all the time. It's because I have a lot of work back here in Cameroon. You know, I'm presently working on a post-production of a movie we did, um, Laxily, which is coming out very soon. So you guys watch out for that. And also, uh, I got a lot of music videos I'm shooting too. But anytime I have any extra time, time I got out of my schedule I always try to do something special for you guys so So today family members will be talking about skin and today I'm going to show you my techniques on how I get perfect skin tones this was shot on the red helium 6k and 47 frames per second and it's a very nice slow motion we can see we have a lot of details here we're going to play with we have the skin which is why we are here today i'm going to show you how to get good skin tones and then we have um have the background which is blue that helps to complement the skin and we have uh, the red you know chain on the neck of the girl and also the lips so we're going to really work on that too just to get you know good skin tones so I'm going to start by creating my node tree. Okay, so I just went ahead to rename all my nodes so you understand which is which. And so we're going to have our CST right here. We have our film prints. I'm going to use the Kodak 2383 film prints lot. And then we have a contrast over here. We have adjustment layer where we're going to try to do some adjustment. We have... Uh, uh, exposure right here we have the balance right here we're going to do some balancing and then we have the look we have the skin and we have the red where we're gonna try to you know pop out this red yeah I'm gonna drop a CST transform and then yeah I'm gonna put the camera settings and show you always know the camera settings before you start doing color grading so I shot this on red white gamut and then lock 3g10 as an input gamma and then for output color space i'm gonna put rec 709 and then here i'm gonna go to Cineon film lock basically let me explain something little about cst which a lot of people have been asking me so normally CST is a plugin which we use to convert our raw footages to Rec 709. So normally when we shoot, we shoot on log and raw. So when you want to color grade, you have to convert or transform this your image, this log image to Rec 709, which is an output gamma for most of the screens that we use. So here we have to first of all convert this image to Rec 709. And then normally it was supposed to be like this. It was supposed to be like this and I mean this is how it looks on set but I want to use the film print so I'm, I'm going to change this output gamma to uh, Cineon Film Lock. This will help me to be able to apply a film print on it. So I'm going to come over to my lot and then film lot. Yeah, I'm going to go to Kodak 2383 film lot and then I apply it. So now when I apply it, it's going to give me this. I mean, you can see right away, it's good. You can deliver this right away to your client and say, hey, what do you think about it? But this is where creativity comes in now because as a creative, we have to try as much as possible to create separations. So the more separation we create on this image, the more beautiful the image is going to look like. And color grading this image has to happen before all of this. Get that? Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is exposure. We're going to try to work on our exposure. And make sure before you even start color grading, there's something I forgot. Before you even start color grading, ensure you come over here, go to your color management, and then on that timeline color space, put in the settings of the camera that you shot with. Let's say you used a GH5, you can put the Panasonic V gamma here. And let's say you use a red, you know, just... Go ahead, red lock film, just put the setting. In that case, you have more room, more space to work with the image when you're touching all this. And we're going to use more of the HDR tab, so it's going to really help us more 
when we're using the HDR because it's going to work more now like we're working with the camera itself on set. So it's not going to be too harsh. Okay, so on under exposure right now, I'm going to bring down a little. Just follow along, I'm going to bring down a little. And look at what it does. Yes, I'm bringing it down, but take note, I'm going to come over to contrast. And then under contrast, I'm going to come to my curve and then just create a nice S curve. Just a nice S curve. One important tip that I learned is that when you want to get good and popping colors, you have to create very nice contrast. When you have good contrast on the images, your images look good in the eyes. So try to create the S curve very well. And then this is something nice. I mean, before and after is something nice. Under my exposure, I can come again to my HDR palette and then try to, you know, come under my shadow and then just bring up the shadows a little and then take the globe down a little. So while I'm doing this, I'm looking at the face. I want the face to have the right exposure. If the face of this character has the right exposure, every other thing is gonna be in place. I'm gonna calm down and then I think I like what I'm having right now. This is pretty nice. I like the contrast, which is giving me the shadow here. Yeah, I like that. So the next thing I'm gonna do now here yeah, is balance this image. I mean, with this, it's good. You can export this and people will be like, wow, we have a very great video. But what makes you different from others is now how much step deeper can you go into color grading this image or bringing out details into this image. So now I have to try as much as possible to create more separation. So right here on my waveform, I see here that we have um, a little bit more red on the white. Look at this car, which is supposed to be white. Look right here, you see that we have some red there. I'm trying to reduce the red, come over to my printer lights, put it on and then reduce it. Reduce the red, I'll take it down again. Now I like it, but I see some green tints, a little bit green on it. So I'm gonna try to add in just half red. And I like this, I mean, look at before and after you see how big change it gives yeah just little things in color grading make big difference so look at this it was okay but now i mean looking at it it looks a little bit too much so this is better and then from here we're gonna start now to build our look so on the look note i'm gonna come over my wapa my color wapa this is a very good tool davinci resolve created so I'm going to come over to the WAPA and then right over here I'm going to put it so that I can have more color space and room to play with the colors. Right here what I'm asking myself, how do you want to create more separation on this image? You know, making the skin look good is when you have enough separation on your images. When you have enough separation, the skin stands out and it pops in very well. So trying to create separation is something you have to try to understand. So yeah, I'm going to try to create some more separation. I want this blue to be more tealy. So I'm going to come over here and then you know, looking at my vector scope. I mean, I already have like very good complementary color, but I want this blue here to be more to the teal side so i'm going to come over here and then bring it down just watch you know try to bring it down like so you see that i mean see the before and after it's something mild but it, it creates more separation and then i'm going to come over my adjustment note right here i'm going to go to my uv saturation and I'm gonna say, hey, this blue, I wanna take it down a little. Look at what it gives me. I'm gonna take it down. I mean, you can take it all, but let's go to a sweet spot. Let's create a look. You can see the before, and you can see the after. You see what just that does. It helps a lot to create separation from this background with the character. Okay, now let's go over to the most important thing, which is the skin. Here we can see that it's the grade looks nice, but then the skin 
it's a little bit too much, you know. So we're going to try to work the skin. And then we're going to select the skin right here. And then I'm going to be, okay. Then I'm going to come over here and try to fine tune the skin. Just so I just try to fine tune my key to ensure I'm selecting just the skin and nothing else. So right over here, I'm going to show you something I, I learned some few weeks back. And it's how to use the color compressor plugin in DaVinci Resolve. So I use this a lot more now, you know, trying to work on skin because it helps a lot. So I'll show you how to use it. So when you put the color compressor plugin on your notes, just come over here, click the target color, pen tool, and then you just come over and click on a nice part of the skin, let's say here. Yeah. And then look at what it does. You see that? So if I take up the hue, you see it brings all the skin to that particular you see before and then you see after see what it does so if you really want to even see much you can come over to the saturation and then you see what it does but this is not what we want to do we want to be very tactical on how we use this plugin so i'm going to come over to the u and then just bring it right up here and then to the saturation i'll just take it up a little Okay, that's nice. And then I'm going to come over to my hue vs hue curve. And I'll try to bring, this is where my skin is. Try to bring the hue of my skin up. See, this is where my skin, this is the skin line, and this is where my skin has to be. So looking at things right now, my skin is really off. So I'm going to try to bring it to the line what I'm doing and then you can see now that we're starting to make sense you can see we started to make sense but now I feel like the skin is oversaturated so I'm gonna bring the saturation of the skin down I'm gonna take it down a little and now you can see what we're getting the skin is more natural and stays in place anyhow you want do with me i'm gonna do anyhow you want do with me yeah anyhow you want do with me i'm gonna do see how that helps the skin helps it a lot but let's say we want to go even more deeper and further into making this very beautiful what are we gonna do? We're gonna come over to the red. Looking at this image is very nice. I like the way the background separates with the skin and the skin looks good and dark. And then I also like uh, the way, you know, this red comes on this girl. So what I want to do is, I want to try to pop up the red. If I pop this red a little bit more, I'll be able to have a beautiful image because it's gonna stand out from the skin. It's gonna have some contrast from the skin so that's what i'm going to try to do i'll select the red and then just make some fine adjustment try to select the lips because the lips is also red you know we want to get everything that is in that red color okay i'm just doing this for tutorial sake but you know if i'm coloring a video i'll take some time to do the selections a little bit more better so under the red i'm gonna come over here and then give it a pop so you can see what it does see the before and see the after and then i can come over to the uv luma and then try to bring the brightness down there's one thing I learned about color grading is that when you're trying to get good film colors, colors can never be bright and saturated at the same time. So if you're having a color which is saturated, it's good to always bring the brightness down a little. If you have a color which is less saturated, you can take the brightness up a little. So this is the idea I'm trying to use here. So let's take it down 
and then I mean you can see what effects it brings into the image before it was good but now it's just popping it up and then you know making everybody feel good <laughs> So let's say you want to get more creative, you know, and create more depth, you know, in the image. You can come over to the skin and say, hey, I want to make the skin a little bit even more darker because, you know, I want to create, I just want to create some interest on the skin. So I'm going to bring this down, you know, just bring the saturation down and then come to the UV's Luma and then bring the lights of the skin down and then take a look at how it affects this image what do you feel I mean when you look at this what do you feel I'm sure you feel something different you know and then you can even say hey come over your adjustment layer and be like okay on the log wheel I'm gonna add in just a taste of red you know, just a taste of red, just. Thank you guys, this is what I had for you today. You can see it's not something very long. But he has a lot of ideas and tricks I learned during this time where I was shooting my movies and learning more about myself and understanding the craft. So I'm here to share this with you and I hope you guys learned something. For those who learned something, hit the like button, hit subscribe to, to get all of my videos when I drop them. And also share the video to those who want to learn. Thank you once again. My name is Dr. Ken Stevens and see you next time.